Hi, I'm Angela, the Crafty Fairy Godmother. You know, I'm home now. I just first want to say welcome, welcome back. Welcome to new subbies, subscribers. Welcome to my subscribers I've had for a while. I consider y'all friends. Um... You heard about my ordeal earlier at Joann's. I have a little bit of an update with that. Got the order. We'll look at this in a minute. But yeah, we waited about another hour because the manager had said she was going to process the refund and um, we I didn't get any kind of notification of a refund or anything. And so finally, you know, she was starting to come out and talk to people that were in the line and stuff for the the online order pickup. And so my husband got out of the car because she had told him she was going to process a refund. And he basically kind of flagged her down coming back from delivering to a car that, um, and asked about the refund. And she said, do you want me to check and see how many orders are before yours? And he said, yeah, do that. Because we were going to get ready to leave. But because we didn't know the status of the order. And I wouldn't be able to go back in two days like they had said before. And if I had waited for them to do ten people at a time. In that really long line. I wish I had gotten a good look at the line but when I'm recording my phone won't let me flip to the other side you know I've tried that before with when I was filming my cat and it didn't quite work so she goes in to check on how many orders are ahead of us. Now mind you, when I was asking several times on the phone to her, she kept telling me she couldn't do that. She couldn't tell me where I was in the list. As soon as she goes back in, I get a text saying my order's ready. Well, what happened to it's not going to be ready for two days you know I mean I was floored when I was told that if you know I went to the trouble of getting in the line that they wouldn't give me some, you know, nobody would assist me by getting the items I needed so I could purchase them then in the store. That floored me most of all. But I can understand they're getting extra orders. They're not getting a lot of, they don't, not getting a lot of foot traffic in the store because, you know, and there's more square footage in the store than that store than would accommodate 10 people, unless they're accounting for the workers too. Okay, and here, I gotta tell you, here's the odd thing. 
She brings the order out. She won't give me the order. The order's in my name. She won't hand it to me. She goes, my husband was getting me a Lipton green tea watermelon out of the back of the car. Which I'll put this in. It's really yummy. Good and get the green. She takes my order back to him. She's like, oh, I'll take it back here. I, she didn't want to hand it to me. I thought that was odd. And I think I know why. Okay. This, uh, this is take two of this video. I got a phone call in the middle. I got my little nine inch size two knitting needle. It's a clover because that's what they sell in the nine inch there. And I had a coupon for 40% off. I got two of Lion Brand's Manny Petty in the, I think this is yoga. Yeah, it's yoga. They weren't, they didn't double check and make sure that the dye lots matched. So these are two different dye lots. But that'll be okay. But I ordered two of these. This color is knee. Which feels a little light. I don't have a scale. And I got this. This is not knee. This is mitten. This is knee. And it doesn't feel like a full 50. It doesn't, you know, when you squish it, it just feels light compared to the other three skeins. So. But it doesn't look like it's been pulled out. So it could just be a light scheme. But yeah. Yarn doesn't match. Dye lots don't match. Oh, and the real kicker, I've ordered curves uh not I've ordered pickup at the store before no receipt. I usually give you that computer printout paper in your bag. No receipt. So I couldn't take it back if I want it. If I wanted to return it, I couldn't return it. Luckily, I think I could make some little shorty socks, especially some little short socks with different heel, afterthought heels and toes. I'll try that. I'm going to make lemonade out of lemons. But because of how I was treated and because of what she kept telling me, In, that she couldn't help me at all and that if I came in the store she couldn't help me I they couldn't help me at all either way if I came in the store you know there was a lady 
who was disabled. She was walking with a cane. She didn't get in the line. That lady just walked straight up, walked into the store. I was like, oh my goodness. I looked at my husband and go, did you see that? He goes, yeah, I saw that. And I go, hmm. But I don't. If I'm asking for help, it's because I physically can't go to the back left corner of the store as you're going in through the front door and get the actual items that I need. Because I'm having a bad day. I'm having a bad day walking. I'm having a bad pain day. And by golly, dealing with that lady on the telephone made a bad day stress-wise for me. That was otherwise going wonderfully. And my husband was so sweet. He's been working DoorDash. He bought me some sock yarn and the little bitty needle that I was wanting so I can try to... See if I like that. But, you know. Go figure. I'm going to figure out how to do the afterthought heal. I think, I think that's, that's a plan for me. This yarn is more of a hassle for me than a thought. But yeah. Magically they found they they got my order ready. Dialects don't match. Two of the schemes don't match in color at all. Mm. Definitely. Gonna. Be. Contacting. Walmart about. Miss Stephanie Robbie. I think it was Robbie. We needed to get our boobs. Yeah, she's right here. Come on, come up here, baby. Come on, come on. Come on. She'll get up when she's darn good and ready to. We had to get some um, cans of food for boots. She was, I'm on her last can. We were running low. So, from the stress of Joanne's I couldn't come on baby this isn't for you but you can come up oops this is my baby this is my baby boots the stress was just kind of bad today and then my husband got upset because I was upset I hope my voice gets very high when I get upset and I had eaten. My husband was telling me, I knew you weren't hangry because we ate already. We had a nice uh, lunch at Applebee's. You know, the two for 22 or whatever it is. We got it car side to go. I have leftovers for dinner. My husband brought me some canned food for baby boots and he hands me this and said honey you need some chocolate today I thought that was so sweet I'll eat some of that later but that's my excitement I 
and my quick update video. Let's see, what am I at? Oh, I'm still, still got a little bit of time. No, I do this in another video. I'm doing better. Take care of the people you love. Stay safe, stay sane. Pet your critters. Love your critters. Be kind to one another. I had a guy making fun of me because I was upset because I couldn't physically go get the items that I wanted. The five little items I wanted. But I'm going to make some shorty socks. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Mommy's got some solid color sock yarn. She just got to get it out. Sorry. <laughs> I got to talk sweet to my kitty cat. She's there for me. She's my emotional support companion. But hopefully I should have, I've got a poncho that I've started. It's a granny poncho. A Z, ZNRJ3 made one in she had one she was wearing a couple videos ago and it, it's the same pattern by DOY Creations I think it is I, I like her earrings too she makes some of the really they're a little bit I don't think I could wear them because I think they'd bug me touching my neck or you know I don't like hair touching my chin you know, the tickle. Ah, no, I can't stand that. <laughs> but more about all of that in a few days. So, stay, ha stay happy, stay insane. And don't forget to tell your loved ones you love them. Take care. God bless. Love all of you. Bye.